Our next topic that is adjectives. Students, adjectives are those words which describe us about noun as well as the pronoun. Let us take some example of the adjective. For example, Ra is a good boy. Now in this sentence, what is the noun? Noun is Ram because Ram is a person and one more noun is boy. Boy is also a person and in this sentence which word is describing you about the noun? The word good is describing you about the word noun. So good is the adjective. Now students, there are basically six types of adjectives. Number one is the adjective of quality. Second, adjective of quantity. Adjective of number. Possessive adjective. Demonstrative adjective. And the last is the interrogative adjective. One by one, we will discuss all these six types of adjectives in detail. Now students, let us discuss about the first type of adjective that is adjective of quality. Adjective of quality describes about what kind of person or thing it is. In this, the question arises what. Okay, let us take example for the more understanding. Example, Ram is a Boy. In this sentence, what is the noun? Yes, you all are correct. The noun is Ram and boy because this is person. Okay? Now, which word is describing about noun? Yes, good is describing about noun and it is the quality of Ram. Okay? So, it is said to be as the adjective of quality. The second example is the bag is colorful. Now, in this sentence, what is the noun? Yes, the noun is bag because it is a thing. And which word is describing that what kind of bag it is? Yes, it is a colorful bag. So the quality of the bag is that it, the bag is colorful. So it is the adjective of quality. Okay. The second kind of adjective is adjective of quantity. In this the word describes about the thing that how much thing is left or how much thing is we are talking about. Okay, let us take example. The example for the adjective of quantity will be there is some water in the Jug. Now, what is the noun in this sentence? The noun is jug as well as the water. Now, how 
the third is the adjective of number adjective of number describes that how many person or things are there how many persons or things we are talking about in this the question arises about the how many it is countable for example 1 2 3 5 or several as well as the few all these are the adjective of number let us take one example few people are standing at the corner of the road now students in this sentence the noun is the people okay yes we can count the number of people that how many people are standing at the corner of the road yes we can count it so which word is describing that how many people are standing at the corner of the road yes the word few is describing us that how many people are standing at the corner of the road so it is the adjective of number Now, students, there is a basic difference between adjective of quantity and adjective of number. If the noun is countable, then that will be called as the adjective of number. And if the noun is uncountable, then the word which is describing about the noun, that is adjective, will be said to be as the adjective of quantity. There are some words that is enough. few several much many all these words describe us about the noun if the noun is countable then these words will be become adjective of number and if the noun is uncountable then these adjective words will become adjective of quantity the next is the demonstrative adjectives demonstrative adjectives describe or just point out any particular person or thing for example this that these those such all these are the examples of the demonstrative adjectives these books are very interesting in this sentence the noun is the book it's a thing so it is a noun and which word is pointing out any particular book that which book is showing that it's very interesting so the word these is pointing out any particular book so these will be the example of demonstrative adjective adjective the seventh type of adjective is the interrogative adjective in the interrogative adjective the word which ask questions in relation with the noun are known as the interrogative adjective for example which what how whose all these are the example of the interrogative adjectives let us take one full sentence for example which book is yours now students what is the noun in this sentence the noun is the book as it is a thing so we will say that it is a 
Noun. Now, which word is describing or which word is asking the question? Yes, the word which is asking the question. So, it will be said to be as the interrogative adjective. Now students, the eighth type of adjective is the possessive adjective. In the possessive adjective, the adjective, the word of adjective describes about the belonging or the ownership of any particular thing. For example, his book is lying on the table. In this, which word is describing about the noun? The word his is describing about the noun and the noun is book. And the word his is the possessive adjective now students the next is the degree of comparison adjectives change to show the comparison between the nouns there are three types of degree of comparison number one is the positive Second is the comparative and the last is the superlative. Now my dear students note one thing very carefully we will going to change the degree of comparison only of the adjective of quality words okay. Now in the positive degree of comparison we will going to talk about only one person about one person we will compare only one person in the comparative degree we will going to compare two persons and in the superlative degree we will going to compare more than two persons more than two persons. Let us take example. For example, Ram is a tall boy. In this the description about the Ram is that he is a tall boy. So, tall will be the adjective and which kind of adjective? It will be a adjective of quality. The next will be Ram is taller than Shyam. In this sentence, we are comparing two persons, that is Ram and Shyam. So, what is the compa comparative degree of comparison? It will be taller. Okay. Next is the superlative degree. Ram is the tallest boy. the class and you all know that in the class there are so many uh, so many children so Ram is compared with, with the whole class so the superlative degree will be the tallest understand now students in the comparative degree we will use E R or more for changing the or for comparing the type of adjective okay and in the superlative degree we will use est or most for comparing the adjective okay 
all right students now i hope that you all have understood the chapter very properly keep on studying at your home stay safe stay happy god bless you students thank you